Hey, Doug, while, no. while we're talking about um, the STAR report and going in, you said that King County um, food establishments are at a mid 80% compliance rate, which is fantastic. Um, we do know that these rules and regulations have changed over uh, the last seven months at a rapid rate. And so it kind of takes our members and us, quite honestly, to understand the new changes and what it looks like. What are the two top things that you are seeing in your in King County that um, we should really think about as operators to focus on compliance? Sure. So I'm, I'm just going to, I'm looking at a separate document here of a breakdown of things. And, and I think probably the most difficult ones, the one that kind of has the lowest rate, I would say of, I mean, I don't know if compliance is the right word, but probably understanding and practice is this whole idea of, of contact tracing inf information and um, how do I broach voluntary so so we know that a patron we know early on the governor released some language about um patrons providing contact information for contact tracing that was challenged and the language changed early on and it became voluntary and so what restaurants i think are confused about and to a certain extent i can understand this is are they required to still ask someone for their information and the person is only voluntarily required to provide it or is there another method they can use and none of that has really been delineated therefore it's hard for them to understand that when and this is not necessarily a top priority question for us versus looking at these other behaviors like mask you know face coverings and distancing but um I, I think it's been a challenge, one, for us to understand what the intent of the governor's language is, and two, for operators to have solid examples of what they can do um, to inform a person that the information they, you know, that they can voluntarily provide information. Because many restaurants, they're, it's sort of a passive approach. They're waiting for the customer to say, oh, I know about contact tracing and I can voluntarily provide my name and phone number. So here, here it is. Well, then you're required as a food establishment to retain a log of that information for at least 30 days, right? And, and so, that, so many people have a way to log that information, but the logs are empty. <laughs> so I think that's one, and hopefully I'm not being too complicated or confusing here, but I think that's one that's been a real challenge. So therefore, we've tried to, you know, we've reached out. Um, we've had our executive's office reach out to the governor's office to try to get some clarification. I haven't really received anything yet on that. Um, I know the state health department food safety team, who Samantha's familiar with, like Joe Graham is the supervisor and Susan Shelton and so forth. I believe they've tried to reach out on this topic. Um, I've not seen anything come across to us as local health jurisdictions on that. So that's definitely one. And then let's see, another one is um, uh, well, the, the rest are pretty much pretty much in the in the 80s you know of of those in the 80 kind of 80 percent ish 80 to 90 percent employee screenings lower than the other ones like distancing and um, and seating capacity and other guideline stuff so you know, much like routine health inspections where you're talking to the person in charge about what their responsibility is, this is kind of the same thing. So it's really just, just making sure that um, comprehensively, there are people in management at food establishments that um, have a good working knowledge of symptoms, have a good method for asking employees if, they're, if they've experienced symptoms before starting their shift, and then knowing what to do if the employee says, yeah, you know what, I, I woke up this morning and, you know, I, I'm experiencing A, B, and C, and those are, you know, symptoms that are consistent with COVID. And, and that means, you know, having the food worker not work and, and do the necessary um, isolation if they're symptomatic. So. Great.